Hello everyone, good morning to you all. Welcome to Rhapsody of Realities and happy new month to you all. Let me be the first to welcome you to the month of October. Hallelujah. Today is Tuesday 1st of October 2024 and today's topic is Three Key Elements of Righteousness. Praise the Lord. So before we start this beautiful morning, let's thank God for this beautiful month and let's thank God for the month of September as well. So let's pray. Father, King of glory, we thank you. We honor you. We appreciate you. Thank you for all that you have done in our lives. Thank you for the month of September. Thank you for seeing us through. Thank you for fighting our battles and giving us winnings. We thank you for this beautiful month of October you have ushered us into. Thank you for making us the light of the world, a city upon the heat that can never be hidden. And thank you, Father, for giving us victory over Satan and his court. Because no weapon fashioned against us shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise up against us in judgment shall be condemned in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for your word we are about to listen this morning with gladness of heart. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Happy, happy new month, people. Happy new month. The Lord is good all the time. Praise the Lord. Welcome. Welcome to Rhapsody of Reality. And today the topic is Freak key elements of righteousness uh, Romans 5 17 says for by for if by one man offense death reigned by one which more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ that's Romans 5 17 the nature of God has manifold descriptions and one of such is that which demonstrate his rightness and perfection praise to God God just can't be wrong because He is God. He is the yastic for measuring what is right. The reference for rightness in everything and all situation is perfect, just and right. That is His character. Secondly, righteousness is the nature of God that is imparted to the human spirit to produce Him, to produce in Him the rightness of God. Righteousness is a gift, and when God implants, imparts a human spirit with it, that person will immediately have the rightness of God in his or her heart and just know what is right. Thirdly, righteousness gives or produces right standing. Right standing is the ability to stand before God without condemnation or inferiority. No ordinary man can stand before God until God gives him the ability to stand in his presence and talk with him without fear, inferiority, or condemnation. So I might ask, what, what if I feel condemned or inferior before God? That you feel a sense of guilt, condemnation, or inferiority in the presence of God doesn't mean you are guilty. Hallelujah. Condemn or inferior. Let me tell you what to do if you feel overwhelmed by such negative emotions. Get into the Word of God and begin studying and meditating on the Word. Before long, the Word will rid you of those wrong emotions of the senses. The Word of God is a cleanser, John 15, 3. It builds your faith and confidence. Hallelujah. At 20, 32. Also remember what the Bible says. For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart and knoweth all things. First John 3.20 God's word is greater than your emotions. It imparts to you the truth about who you are. That knowledge destroys every sense of guilt, condemnation or inferiority and inspires the confidence of the Spirit in you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What a wonderful topic, three key elements of righteousness, praise the Lord. All Pastor is helping us to understand is that we shouldn't feel any guilt. We shouldn't feel ashamed when we are with the Lord, no matter what we've done. Because Jesus has paid the price. The sin you're going to commit tomorrow, Jesus has paid it all. Hallelujah. And God does not see you. The way the world sees you, that is not how God sees you. Thank God. Praise the Lord. God does not see what the world sees. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. So always be you. 
and if you think you are in the negative part all you have to do is thank God for his mercies upon your life and move on hallelujah praise to Lord because God loves you irrespective of your situation irrespective of what you think you've done God loves you praise to Lord because his love is not like men hallelujah you don't need to do nothing for his love praise the Lord and also study your Bible the Word of God helps praise the Lord the Word of God beats you it helps you navigate your daily lives hallelujah that is what the Word of God does for you hallelujah so always study your Bible you receive strength when you do so and you receive the wisdom of God to direct your path praise the Lord so with that being said let's take the prayer and confessions thank you Lord for the gift of righteousness I rejoice because I have your nature in me, which produces righteousness in me and gives me the ability to stand before you without fear, condemnation or inferiority. Your word imparts to me the confidence of the Spirit, and I walk in the boldness and assurance that come from knowing that my righteousness is of you. Hallelujah. For the study, you can look at 2 Corinthians 5.21. Philippians 3 verse 9 and Romans 8 verse 1 to 4. When your Bible reading plan, you can look at Ephesians 6 verse 10 to 24 and Isaiah 31 to 32. To your Bible reading plan, Titus 1 verse 1 to 16 and Jeremiah 49. So at a leisure time, you can go through the scriptures. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys. And you've been this blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining in this morning. God bless you. I trust you have been blessed by today's devotion. And if you're here, you've not given your life to Christ, this is an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ. Son of the living God, I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. 